Well, I'm pretty sure most of you heard yesterday that Donald Trump was indicted in New York under a grand jury over payments um, that um, he paid with um, the porn star Stormy Daniels, um, which, I mean, I don't see what is the deal with that, but they were they leaking out and saying that he's been charged with mostly um, financial crimes in New York. Um, that's really w- what it is. Uh, more so than anything else. They, you know, now the indictment itself has been sealed. Um, no one really knows the charges as people have been speaking on, on a, uh, speculation basis. So we don't want to say what they're saying, you know, as fact about how many charges it is, but they're saying it's related to financial crimes. Now, Ron DeSantis, uh, governor of Florida say he will not, uh, help extradite Trump. Um, even though it's required by the U S constitution. See, you know, these people do what they want to do. Understand? So they, they, they pick and they pick and choose what laws they want to follow. But when it comes to people like me and you, well, we got to follow the letter of the law. Now this Trump situation, just my personal opinion about this. I think it's quite convenient. The timing of this, um, because you had all this time to get Trump since he wasn't in office. I mean, he wasn't the president of anything, but when he announced that he's going to re- re- uh, run again, of a president, all of a sudden you coming up with this indictment and, and is ran in a Democrat run New York. So it seems very, very political. They did some polling and a polling show that Republicans and even independents, we knew Republicans would agree, but even independents are saying they believe this is uh, politically motivated. It seemed like that. Does my personal opinion. I want to repeat that again. My personal opinion, we know what happened in the last election. Um, I don't really have to go there and spell that out because as I stated before, I was watching all the coverage of the election. I would go to bed. I would see Donald Trump uh, wake up in the morning. All of a sudden, uh, always uh, over a hundred thousand ballots, million ballots come in for, for Biden every time overnight. It never was like during the day, you know, as things are being updated always overnight. I said, Hmm, you know, then you heard about the different things that was going on with. So this time around, they can't do that. So they say, you know what? We got to go for the nuclear option. Let's go ahead and just indict a, a, a former president who has a, a former president has not been arrested since Ulysses Grant way back in the uh, 19th century. That's how long it has been. A former president or a sitting president has never uh, had any kind of charges put on them like this since then. So outside of it being politically motivated, and I, I really believe it is, what is our position as black people in America? in relation to this situation with Donald Trump, whether you like Trump, whether you can't stand his behind, what is our position? Now we know, and the media wants to see chaos, of course, cause they, cause when, the, when I was watching the coverage of this, they'll say, we haven't seen nobody out here protesting. Oh, we bracing for violence. We brace like the media. I noticed that they want to see chaos with, with, with anything. They just like, we remember what happened with Tyree Nichols. They want to see black folks get in the street because you know why it's good for ratings. It's good for their money. It's good for their bottom line. So they love to see that sort of thing. Now, why isn't the, uh, uh, they, they getting, um, you know, talk to about inciting people through a media, because if I was to get on here and I started trying to say things like that and, and, and ramp people up, they want to come after me talking about how I'm trying to incite people. Right. But they can do it, but you know how it goes, you know, um, because they, they have, uh, you know, the, the palm color people, you know, they, they can do whatever they want to do. That's why once again, with the Santa's thing. Now our proper response in black America should be the response that we had about January the 6th when that was going down, right? It's not our problem. This is they problem, they system. Um, we just need to sit on the sidelines. We need to watch. We need to uh, pay attention and that's it. Get our popcorn and uh, watch them act a fool. Go ahead. It has nothing to do with us as black America. Now, you know, you're going to have some, you know, Negroes come out and say, oh, well, yeah, but look, they, they did that to him. They could do that to him. I say, they've been doing that to black people. I mean, come on now. We are the poster child of political targeting that goes all the way back to the Black Panther Party any other leaders we have had 
all our leaders have been targeted. Dr. King, Malcolm X, all these leaders were targeted politically, all of them. So I don't want to hear all that about like, like he's, he's just so, Oh my God, this never happened before. This black people have been uh, uh, targeted, but see, let me tell them folks something. See, it was okay when they was targeting us. That was okay. When, when they were taking our lives because of politics, right? But now that they touching your boy, now, now I want to see what you're going to say. I want to hear you crying foul about the system, about how it's corrupt. This system being corrupt, but it's like this. As long as that system is corrupt against my people, you good. As long as that system is corrupt and you're benefiting, you good. But now you, 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 your man's up here, now he gets indicted. And I, and I do agree with y'all that is politically motivated. I do agree. 100% agree with y'all, but you should have said something when it was happening to my people. See, the problem is with a lot of them folks is this, you act like we don't live in the same country. You let your organizations, you let your prosecutors, you let your police, I say your, cause it's not mine and it's not black America's. You let yours do all this mess to black people while you sit there and watch and you cool with it. You justify it. Everything that happened to us, you justify it, right? But I want y'all to justify this. I'm talking about all of y'all, not just you, your political party. All of y'all need to justify this, right? But y'all not going to justify it because this is supposed to happen to nobody look like you. And definitely don't supposed to be happening to someone with the amount of money Donald Trump has. Now, the interesting part is this. Like I said, this has never happened before. Donald Trump has Secret Service protection. So... Everywhere he go, the Secret Service got to be there, whether he's in court. Even when he go down to the jail, he has to have Secret Service protection, right? You can't just put him in a regular jail because he he's a former president. You couldn't do it, which I don't really see Donald Trump going to jail. I would be shocked to see that happen. I will be so shocked to see that happen. I didn't even think they were going to indict him personally. You know, but see, this is my issue too. Alvin Bragg. Let's talk about him. The former prosecutor they had there in New York, Cy Vance. Um, he he didn't indict Trump, but Alvin Bragg. So he's backed by a lot of Soros money. And you know that um, who Soros uh, supports. So Alvin Bragg has put his family at risk. All of that now. Sometimes black people, we don't need to be the people to do certain things because it puts a target on you personally. It puts a target on your family and also could even put a target on black people to a point, especially in New York because of what he did, right? We don't need to be used by them in their beefs because why didn't the previous prosecutor do this? Why? Then do you know that they tried to bring charges on him before and Alvin Bragg said, nah, nah, we're not gonna bring those charges right now. And he dismissed it. But now when it comes, when Trump was up in the polls, when they were showing Trump uh, in a good position to actually beat Biden, and it's kind of easy to beat Biden at this point because Biden is horrible. He's horrible. I'm talking about horrible. I'm talking about not, we just not talking about the inflation. We're not talking about the weakness because um, he's extremely weak when it comes to international geopolitics, he's weak. Okay. I mean, these other countries are literally forming alliances and, and, and they just sit by watching them do it, you know, and, and these alliances is going to hurt the United States eventually because they're trying to get at the United States, which I get why, right? The situation with Ukraine and Russia, that's all happened underneath him. I don't think that would happen if Trump was in office. So, so a lot of people just tired of him. Black America, we surely tired of him in a lot of ways. You know, people like definitely in our circles are tired because we're literally watching this man give millions and billions of dollars to everybody. Matter of fact, he, he, every time he sends Kamala or whoever going to the continent, they got a bag, but black America don't, can't get a dime. When black America say, Hey, we, we are old, actually old reparations. Our brothers and sisters on the continent aren't old a dime from America, but you come over there sending Kamala to Ghana and you, she going to Tanzania and Zambia and, and she going with a bag to every country. So when they say they don't have no money for reparations, no, I told y'all when they tell you that that's just anti-black racism and, 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 and it's the Democrat party in itself 
it, that's not pushing reparations like that. Or Biden isn't pushing for reparations. He got money for Ukraine. He got money for, for LGBT. He got money for everything, but he don't got nothing for black America. And a lot of black Americans have seen that and say, Oh, hold on, man. But see the thing is Biden is so open with his old school, uh, white supremacy. I mean, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, like how are you worse off with, with, with Trump? At least in, in, we call talk to the Africa thing. Trump let them alone every time, every five minutes and, and under Biden, they trying to push LGBTQ on them. That wasn't happening during Trump. Right. So it's just a whole lot that's going on. And, and, and yeah, they, they trying to do everything they can to stop him from getting in office. But once again, I see that, but not our problem, not our problem because, because like I say, when we were politically targeted, and when our leaders were sent to jail, when our leaders were, were, were falsely charged, they got leaders right now that's rotting in jail from way from 1960s from the Black Panther Party, right? Dr. King isn't here anymore. That was political. Malcolm X, as I said before, before political. You know, you can na- you can name so many people that's been targeted politically by this system. But. Let's just um, see see what happens. Let's see what happens. But yeah, we need to keep our distance, brothers and sisters. Don't worry about any of that. That's not our issue, not our problem. Even if they try to draw us into it, say, oh, this, no, 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 no. That's not my problem. It's not our problem. We worry about getting our reparations. We're trying to fix our community. We're not worrying with y'all no more. We are divesting from your problems. Because every time we have came in as black folks in the midst of your problems, what ha- how has it worked out for us as black people? It never worked out. Anytime we've gotten your problems to help you fix your problems, you come out on top, we go right back to the bottom. So whatever your problems are, you fix it. Since you say you're so smart and superior, right? You fix it. Not our problem. We only gonna worry about ourselves. It's just that simple. And that is the message that we got to have. We worry about ourselves. We have no investment in Donald Trump uh, in that situation. There's no investment. None. None. Now, the Democrats, what they're going to eventually do, because the mess is going to get louder about what they're doing, they're going to try to get on defense mode with this, right? But, you know, I, you know how I feel about the Democrats on a good day. Democrats, you know, they, they are a horrible party for black America. Horrible. They, they have all these black votes and do nothing for black people. Nothing. But they do something for everybody else, though, right? But let me know what y'all think, ladies and gentlemen, about the situation with, with Donald Trump and then Ron DeSantis say he is not following the law. He's not going to extradite Trump whatsoever. Um, and Ron DeSantis is doing that not because he cares about Trump, because Trump talks about him, but he's thinking about his political future. I mean, that's it, it's all a game. But, you know, hey, they can break the law um, when it comes to furthering white supremacy. <laughs>